Hey guys, what's happening? So I wanted to show you my uh, little eBay purchase. I uh, got this thing, obviously on eBay, and it was $17 shipped. And it's an OS Max .12 for an uh, RC car. And a couple interesting things about this uh, engine that I've seen so far. And Yeah, number one, the thing that sticks out the most is this external cooling fin. And uh, yeah, there's definitely a few issues with it so far, but um, yeah, another, another option was this uh, Hyperhead. Um, this didn't come stock. I think it originally came with like a redhead. But yeah, this provided additional cooling. So I think this guy must have raced this thing or just tried to bling it out or whatever. But yeah, a couple of the issues I have so far is uh, the engine seized. It will not move. And uh, the carburetor is seized too. Like this thing moves, but the carburetor does not move. You can see in there, like this spins without the carburetor moving. Uh, the fuel inlet nipple is broken off. And it actually look, doesn't look like it's metal. It looks like it's a, like some sort of plastic material. And the other issue is this little... At first the guy said one of the things was stripped, right? But the all three of the nuts were off. I think this guy was trying to take it apart to fix it. But uh, the Allen little thread thing in there is, is stripped out. So I'm going to have to find a way to get that out. Probably drill it out if I have to. Maybe use a... Uh, See if I can jam a, a larger Allen in there. But um, okay, well I gotta take this thing apart. At first I gotta figure out how to get the screw off because uh, I'm obviously not gonna force it. Because that's the worst thing you do is actually if it sees is to force it on the crankshaft because if you do that, you can bend, it, bend the connecting rod in there and uh, do more damage. So uh, what I need to do is just take this whole thing apart to take a look at it. So I gotta first start off with this back cover. So like I said, I don't even know what's up with this thing. It was $17. So if I can't get it to go and it's a total fail, then it's not the end of the world. All right. All right, so I'm going to have to drill that thing out. I tried a couple different ways, but I set a little drill here on my drill press. And I'm just going to lift up on it and drill it out. I don't want to try to hold it with a hand drill and a vise. I think it would be easier just to push up on it. I think I have more control over it like this, this way. Alright, so I'm going to have this thing freed loose. Um, see that little edge is still on there? I'm able to grab it with my needle nose there and kind of spin it around. Alright, so now that little screw is out. That's cool. And hopefully nobody meddled this because it was stripped. This is their first reveal. I don't know what's inside there. So instead of whacking this hammer, I use a little bit of tri-flow. I'm just going to try to go back and forth. Oh, there we go. Ooh, rust. All right. Not that bad. You know? Nothing I can't deal with. Okay. All right, so let's get the head off. I'm going to just soak a little bit of this tri-flow in here now. That way I'm getting everything loosened up, get that started. Bearing. Okay. Alright, I'm going to come back and let it soak for a little bit. I'm going to take the head off. Let's get the head off. All right, got the four head bolts off. Um, yeah, this doesn't look factory. I mean, this looks like a hyper head that I saw somebody sell on eBay. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna soak a little bit of. Um, yeah, I wonder if it's just water. I mean, obviously you don't want it to be uh, top dead center or high up. You want to storm at bottom dead center. A little more trifle on there. We'll soak, soak for a little bit and uh, sit around. Hopefully, get that thing freed up. Right, so yeah, probably, sure. Let's take the carburetor off. All right. So if you're going to have to tap something like this, you should probably use a, a metal that's softer than steel. So in case you hit the threads. Okay. There we go. 
Alright, so it kind of freed up on its own a little bit. I mean, I kind of grabbed it and pulled it so I didn't get it on camera, but... Uh, I guess I can try to try see if it'll pull the sleeve up on its own. Mm, there we go. Is that a brass sleeve or, or a steel sleeve? I don't know. I mean, I don't, it doesn't, like all my other edges look like they're brass. Okay, yeah, I want to make sure the piston is clean before I like, uh, force it. Okay. I'm not sure how this one goes. If I should... Oh, there we go. There's the piston. Yeah, not too bad. I think it's just probably sad. That, that was probably the problem with it, you know? Because this doesn't, this doesn't look scuffed like it got seized up in there like it was running lean. So, a couple nicks on the top of the piston. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't see like any major rust up here or anything, you know? I mean, not a, a ridge. Looks like it's pretty round. I guess if I get the crankshaft out of here, that might be a little more difficult. Alright, so while this bearing's soaking, I'm gonna take this carburetor apart, get all the stuff off. I guess Alright, kind of a bummer, this little plastic thing that sits right here. It just it just shredded on me. Alright, so I'm going to throw this in my, uh, I put diesel fuel in there, and it's actually a really good solvent, so I'm going to throw this carburetor in there, and hopefully I can free that up. So hopefully the ultrasonic cleaner is not too messy, but I was able to tap out my crankshaft with my little protective hammer. So I'm going to get this out of there. Well, looks like the looks like it's in there a little... See on there, I'm just gonna put the bearing still on there, so uh, I'm not gonna bother to take it off. Right now, it's actually diesel fuel. All right. This is my second ultrasonic cleaner, and I didn't really want to put the anodized aluminum and, and diesel because I was worried about it actually taking the anodized coating off, even though it's already kind of messed up already. But that's just hot water and uh, Dawn dish soap here, so let's get it going here. This is my Harbor Freight one that I fixed in a different video, the temperature control. I got this carburetor taken apart, that was a headache. That's been the hardest part so far, it was just totally frozen in there. Alright, I'm going to sandblast and powder coat this thing. Alright, there's a powder coat. A couple areas I got to clean off there, but um, I'm going to go back with my little file. I'm going to try to get those letters so you can see them. Services. Even though I've already steel wool them already, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna polish them with a little toothpaste here. I'm gonna loosen that anodizing out there, that old stuff. Yeah, I think it actually looks worse than just having it uh, either chrome or I'm gonna re anodize it. Probably black. This is um, Smart and Final oven and grill cleaner. You can kind of see the reaction, see the bubbles coming up. Yeah, I don't know. They'll just throw my sandblaster. Hey, I don't think I've actually made a video about me anodizing, but it's pretty simple. Uh, I'll probably make another video about it, but I think most people on the internet, on the YouTube videos I've seen, they just probably overthink it. So all you're, really, all you're doing is you're just trying to etch the metal so the dye will stick to it. So you can either accomplish that by sandblasting, give it a rough edge, or etch it. I usually do both, so. All right, so it's time to reassemble this OS engine here. And I noticed that this thing has an insane amount of pinch. You can kind of see a little bit of the scuffing, but... Um, so I don't know if this was repinched 
or like this has like insanely high compression but I can't get it to go past there um, so I'm gonna put it back together the way it is I might have to heat the engine up with my heat gun just to see if I can get it to go but yeah I mean this thing's like like I said somebody either proper or improperly pinched it or this is like some super high compression racing engine all right there it is put back together the OS Max 12CV. Yeah, I designed this uh, Infusion 360, so if you actually want the engine stand, uh, put a link to my Thingiverse page. But uh, you'll need a 3D printer, obviously, to print it out. So, there it is. Yeah, I anodized the top. Didn't turn out 100% great, but back to. Couldn't get it there for some reason, but. Um, to get this thing actually working, I need to get um, the seal here, the carb seal the dust seal which goes right there covers that and I need a head gasket and this rear gasket it, it, the engine didn't have it when I got it so alright cool it's fun yeah powder coated alright awesome have fun <laughs>